Road trips and national parks go together like westerns and Hollywood, and they all converge right here in Moab, Utah. We're here today at Arches National Park, about to go on a hike. Let's get this day started. <laughs> and we're still accompanied by my younger daughter, Marilyn. Danger. Dehydration is definitely a danger, especially this summer in the national parks. We do have Gatorade and Powerade and water in our vehicle. Although we are going to also drink coffee first. Sorry, but we're yeah. going to dehydrate. If and I we're wearing suntan lotion. If I would have known that, apparently if you drink coffee or alcohol, which we're not drinking alcohol, it's bad. We like to support national parks, so we begin our day with a quick stop at the gift shop. I took this opportunity to get a new hat. Now that Chris has his stylish new hat, we are heading to Wolf Park, or no, Wolf Ranch Parking. Whew. Hopefully we find it. I read some advice from a park ranger online saying that you should really go and do that hike first thing in the morning. It's going to get busy, so that's where we're headed. Got that, hun? Honey, I love that you read. I love that you got the inside scoop, which we are now providing to these people. Let's do this. Yeah! It is a 13 mile drive from the visitor center and we're going to have 13 miles of beautiful sights, I think. We haven't even made it past the first pullout and already we've stopped, but look at this. Hurry up, God dang it! <laughs> Get in the car! We have to follow your itinerary, okay? You pulled over here. You stopped here. I needed another camera to show all of this off. Well, if you're going to stop, why wouldn't I get out of the car? You know how I feel okay, about okay. sitting for too Let's long. Why? This why would a... this be how it is? <laughs> this is a... Watch for traffic! This is a normal American <laughs> road trip <laughs> or adventure to a park. It's exactly like this. <laughs> well, you just drive and watch the road. God damn it, woman! <laughs> <laughs> we reserved our Arches National Park entry time for between 9 and 10 a.m. on August 17th, not long after seven heat-related deaths in Southwest Parks made the news. That's why you'll see us being extra cautious. Chris, we don't have time to stop right now. But it's a balanced rock. Look at that. We will come back to it. Are you amazed, Ben? I'm amazed. Good job hydrating, Chris. Gotta hydrate, gotta hydrate. Don't be late to hydrate. Oh, we should take the lid off. <laughs> I forgot to take the lid off. Mm. Good hydrating water. Hold in. Do you think that the tip was a good tip? Yes, because it is already crazy busy here and I bet it's just going to get busier and busier throughout the day because that's always what happens at parks. True, National, true. state. And this is the most popular part of the park, right? I believe so, yeah. I'm concerned for the human race. While we do have some water, we will not be hiking this full trail. It can take over three hours to do. People have died on it of dehydration. There's always a danger, and that one's a big one on this trail. So will we be able to see it though by walking some of it? There's a viewpoint about 1.6 kilometers down as far as driving. We're all about activity and hiking, but we're just gonna go check out the viewpoint. There are at least 15 marked trails in Arches National Park. There are hikes for all levels, including two that are wheelchair accessible. With all we're talking about, hydrated. Melissa and I both head out on the trail, didn't bring any water. Marilyn did though. Yeah, because I'm intelligent. And responsible. I think what it was is she started, she like learns from us, Melissa. No, I think to bring water. I raised her. We're almost there. Hey, Marilyn. 
Doesn't that look like a top of a skull right there? That rock? Not really. The one right in the middle there. I think this was a wise move. It had some challenge to it. It's hot. Pretty amazing. Good job. Have some water. Oh, hey, thank you. <laughs> water. And good to bring this this one along. Although she moved on me, but that's okay. It's good to bring oh. that one along. <laughs> I think that that rock looks like the top of a rattlesnake. I think he's been pointing out things that he thinks <laughs> look, looks like things, but they don't. Hon, did you see the rattlesnake? It's Rattlesnake Rock here in, in uh, Arches National Park. I've just named a rock. It was a short hike, but long enough to get hot and sweaty, and it's 88 degrees, so we're gonna put some salt in this, we're gonna hydrate, and then, she's hydrated, and then Devil's Garden. The only thing I know about it is that it's the next thing on the route that the park ranger no. recommended. Devil's Garden is at the end of the park road, about 18 miles north of the visitor center. We believe that what's behind us is the fiery furnace. We were on our way to Devil's Garden and we couldn't resist stopping. That's a pretty common theme here. It's amazing. I, you gotta come here. There's so much to see. Landscape Arch, the longest arch in North America, is in Devil's Garden, along with seven other significant arches. Some are more difficult to get to than others. We are on the Devil's Garden Trail, and we're looking at heading to Landscape Arch. If it's not too arduous, we're gonna at least hike 15 minutes out there, right, Pam? Yeah, I think so. That sounds like a plan. Sounds like something we can manage today. Yes. Right now, it's still about 88 degrees. Oh, my watch tells me the temperature oh, now. Nice. It is, I'm sorry to say, it is now 92 degrees. Oh, okay. This is making me think of like the boulder scene in Indiana Jones, and I'm not sure which scenes in Indiana Jones were filmed out here, but I know somewhere. Oh, really? And this is just making me kind of think of that. Anybody want to run up there? Yeah. Go, <laughs> All right. That's far enough. <laughs> She's a goofball. Come on back. It's difficult hiking in this heat, but it's not horrible. This hike hasn't been too bad. And look at that. All right, we've gone as far as we're gonna go. We we're got to sweaty. see the landscape art. That we did. We lost one of our amigos, so we need to head back, make sure she made it back to the vehicle safely. And it's holding at 92. And there is a breeze, so it's not too bad. <sighs> Wasn't too hilly. No. I think this is a good little hike for people my age. And for a day like today. Yeah. And when you don't have a ton of time because we want to see a bunch, but we don't have that long to see everything we'd like to see or sure. that there is to see. Yeah. So I feel like we got a taste of the devil's garden. We are now in the scenic window section, ready to take in the beauty without having to work too hard at it. Hey, we have limited time. Garden of Eden come out our eyes, we're gonna check it out. Is it awesome? The Garden of Eden's pretty all right. How has that not fallen over yet? Okay. 
I want to come back and do the window arches trail on another day, honey. I think we'd want to plan a trip where it'd be about 20 degrees cooler. And then I think this would be even more enjoyable than it already is. Let's make a plan. Plan. We're making a plan. My prediction, the next gust of wind, that thing's going over. Okay, let's watch. <laughs> Come on, do it. Wouldn't that be just wild? That would be did? horrible, that poor person walking. There's a person be... walking over there? Yes. Oh, okay, I take it back. This trip to Arches National Park has been incredible. It's been hot, but incredible. The scenery has been stunning. However, the heat has been oppressive, as you've heard us say many times. I've even started to feel a little bit of a headache and a little bit dizzy, and we're mostly in the car, and I've drank tons yeah. of water. Yeah, it's like I feel guilty, like, oh, let's just put down the window and take a shot of that, and then I go, but if I was hiking around this whole place, that wouldn't be good either, so. No, no, better to keep everybody safe uh, and better to return in the fall. Yeah, so we're gonna do that, but I give this a thumb up, a bump, you know, even in the middle of the summertime. Absolutely. It's, oh gosh. It's, and we probably won't return this fall, but like next yeah, fall. Yeah. Never ending beautiful sights. In fact, here we go. We're just gonna give you this for the ending. 